Thank you for joining with me today. Psalm 122 verse 1 says, I rejoiced with those who said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let me ask you this question. Do you enjoy going to church? Is it a duty or a joy to you? Do you see it as a privilege or a burden? There's a story about a man. His wife woke him up one Sunday morning. So come on, darling. It's time to get up for church. He said, I don't want to go to church this morning. She says, but you have to, my dear. He said, I don't want to go. He said, give me reasons why I should go. She said, I shouldn't need to, darling. He said, well, the people at the church don't like me. I don't like the people. So can you just give me one good reason why I should go to church this morning? And she said, well, darling, you are the minister. And of course, as humorous as that, as that story is, I want to ask you that question again. Is going to church a joy or a burden to you? Because it should be a privilege to be able to go to the house of the Lord, to be able to go and to hear God's word preached, proclaimed, and taught. I come from the great Baptist tradition of preachers. I believe that an important part of any service of worship is hearing God's word explained in a relevant and understandable way. We go to church to meet with fellow Christians. We go to worship the Lord to tell him what he means to us there's no excuse for Christians not to go to church in this day and age especially here in Britain when there's literally thousands of churches all across the country with different styles of worship with different traditions so that everybody can find a place of worship where they feel fed by the word of God and that's why it's so important because just like when we wake up in the morning we need to have a shower or a bath to make our physical bodies clean the preaching of the word of God cleanses our soul it cleanses our spirit it has a cleansing power and so when we hear the word of God preached and proclaimed the Holy Spirit cleanses our innermost being whenever I have preached or taught the Word of God I feel so clean afterwards I feel such a purity of heart and mind and soul and likewise whenever I hear the Word of God preached from a man or a woman who is called and anointed by God to bring his word. I feel the same way. I feel clean inside. I feel inspired if it's an inspiring word. I feel educated if it's a knowledgeable word. I feel challenged if it's a direct word which is speaking to me about issues in my life where I need to step out in faith or areas where I need to change. So I want to encourage you my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Do not give up meeting together, as the writer to Hebrews says. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. You see, your being at church will encourage other Christians. You may bring the word to them, even if you're not a preacher, just in conversation. You may bring the word to them that they need at that specific time. God can use you and will use you when you fellowship amongst his people, if you go there with the right attitude and spirit. Let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. 
to my brothers and sisters in Christ, do not give up meeting together. Do not give up attending that place of worship where you can hear God's word and fellowship with other Christians. Consider it a joy to go to the house of the Lord. May God bless you with this word. Amen.